Welcome back, folks. Today marks the beginning of something new. A new chapter begins. One focused entirely on architecture. Roads, fences, tunnels, and of course, the buildings that tie it all together. This is what I want to do next. So I figured, let's start with the basics. And by that I mean roads. What you're seeing right now is a simple straight road just to get things rolling. I'm increasing the geometry density to ensure clean deformation when the mesh follows a curve. Also, the sidebands help blend it better with the terrain once it's placed in the world. This texture I made earlier is tileable vertically, along the y-axis, which lets it repeat cleanly from bottom to top without seams. Oh, this is so satisfying to watch. Okay, so here's me doing another part, uh, which is the four ways intersection. Everything in this road kit should snap together without any gaps or mismatches. These are the textures I created. Just like the geometry, they need to tile seamlessly. That way, no matter how long or complex the road gets, the visuals stay clean and uninterrupted. I'm merging the pieces here to create one unified mesh. Here's the three-way intersection, coming right up. Alright, so the roads are ready, but I feel like the scene could use a little something extra. Just a small detail to bring in some color and life, so I thought why not add a stop sign.
Assets like stop signs are fairly easy to model, especially in low poly. That said, I had to relearn pretty much everything about texturing in Blender. It's been a while since I last did this, so it took a bit of trial and error. For those of you still watching, you're awesome, seriously. I really appreciate you sticking around this far. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps a ton and keeps me motivated to keep building this world piece by piece. I've got a lot more coming and we're just getting started. You might be wondering why I'm only using a small corner of my UV sheet. That's because I plan to create lots more street signs in the future. This way, I can fit them all on the same UV sheet, which is a nice optimization trick. Alright, time to add some weathering. Adding weathering like dirt, rust and sun degradation, it all helps make the asset feel more grounded and believable. And even though we're going for a low poly look, it's still nice to sprinkle in a few touches of realism from time to time. Anyway, the texture is 1024 by 1024 pixels for now, but we'll end up compressing it to 256 by 256. You know, to keep that old school look. All right, back to the roads. We're now in Unreal. Each mesh has sockets on all its connection points. That includes straight segments and the four-way intersections, so everything snaps together cleanly. And this is where the fun part begins. I can connect every part now, and it fits perfectly. From here on out, we'll be able to create some really nice road networks. Oh, it all looks so sexy! This 
since I made several different textures, I can override the material on specific part of the spline. That gives me more flexibility. I can add things like stop lines or pedestrian crossings exactly where I want them. How about that? Oh, looks good. All right, that's it for this week, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Love y'all, and I'll see you in the next one.